Welcome, children, to my symphony of horror, Nosferatu. Mohaha. <laughs> Nosferatu, A Symphony of Horror, is a 1922 silent German Expressionist film from director F. W. Murnau, starring Max Schreck as our antagonist, Count Orlock, a vampire looking to move home and make a bride. And if that sounds familiar to you, it's because it's also the plot to the film Dracula, which this film is heavily inspired upon. This is an unofficial and unauthorised retelling of the story of Dracula. In fact, the film was so much like Dracula that the Stoker estate ordered Murnau to destroy every copy of this film shortly after its distribution. Luckily, however, some copies still managed to survive and it is a fantastic example of early German cinema and expressionist horror movies. The film then follows Thomas Cutter, who is played by Gustav van Wagenhelm, who is told to go to Transylvania by his employer to track down the mysterious Count Orlok, who is looking to sell his house and buy a new estate in the city of Wilburg. Upon meeting the Count, he is initially horrified when going to sign the deed he cuts his finger and Count Orlok seemingly sucks the blood up. This of course then grows into suspicion that Count Orlok may not be all he seems. It is during his stay that he comes across a book about vampires which is how he learns about Orlok's identity. Horrified by this discovery he ends up hiding in his room trying to avoid all confrontation with Count Orlok as much as possible. Sometime later then, Orlok gets aboard a ship with a whole bunch of coffins heading towards Milberg. One of the crewmates on board the ship try to open one of the coffins and a plague of rats swarms the ship, taking over. Of course, by the time the ship arrives, all the crew members have been killed off by Count Orlok. And the local city government notice the rats and start blaming a mysterious plague that begins to haunt the town. Of course, what we as the audience know this is actually Orlok feeding on his victims. Thomas Hutter also races back to Millsburg just in time to warn his wife from Count Orlok, bringing the book with him. His wife then, Ellen, played by Greta Schroeder, discovers the book and learns that vampires can be distracted by a beautiful woman. Seeing that her husband is in no condition to fight the vampire himself, she decides to take it upon herself to trap Count Orlok one night. She leaves the window open and beckons him to come during the night, which of course he does. He begins feasting upon her throughout the night and doesn't see the sun rising behind him. When he finally does notice, it's too late and he is vaporised into dust. The film concluding then with Thomas Hutter mourning his dead wife who made the ultimate sacrifice to stop the creature. As the movie was silent, Murnau deliberately chose some of the best actors from the theatre business to act in his movie. Also, because the film had a very limited budget, he couldn't buy as much film stock as he wanted to. So instead he had to plan out every single shot, camera setup, camera angle and acting pace 
It is said he used a metronome in order to keep precise timing throughout each one of the shots in order to achieve this effect. Like all silent movies then, the film hasn't aged particularly wide in some aspects. The film is very anti-Semitic against the Jewish population at the time within Germany. That the makeup design of Warlock's character played by Max Schreck is, is very much a characterization of the Jewish people as a whole. Overall then, I think this film is definitely worth your time. I'm going to rate it a 8 out of 10, although it's difficult to rate any kind of movie from this time period without taking into consideration some of the negatives as well as the positives. But this film is a pretty good expressionist film and one of the better early horror movies, so definitely worth your time. Thank you for watching and have a good day.